Hey everyone, it's Ellen from Rhapsody Music Lessons. And in a book called Star Wars for Beginning Piano Solo, and I'll leave a link as to where you can find this book, we've got Cantina Band. And this is from Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. And this is a tutorial, so I'm going to show you how to do this. This is played fast, but we're not going to start it that way. So when you look at this arrangement, you've got in your left hand, D and then A. And you're going to play these each for two beats. So it's going to be one, two, one. Hold the fourth D for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to do the D and the A again. One, two. Now a G for four beats. Three. Then a C for four beats. Back to the D. my thumb and my ring finger and I think those are the best too so one and four okay then you're gonna to get to a C you're gonna hold that for four beats one two three four and a D for four beats now there is a flat in the song and that's B and you're gonna hold that for two one two half rest rest two up to F for four three four C two three four f two staccato f rest that's your four beats for that measure now we go to the end where we have the d and a's again one two one two one two one two one two two not ending one in music i don't know if you can see this but in music, when you play, you're going to see one, and that means ending one, and a repeat sign. You go back, you repeat, and when you get to this point, you skip ending one. You've already played it, and you go right into ending two, which is what I'm going to do this time. So we've got our D's and A's again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, another one. D for four, one, two, three, four, ending two, B flat, one, two, B natural, C, D, G for two, these are all half notes, C, F for four, two, three, four. Okay, that's your left hand. Let's look at the right. These are staccato. A lot of these notes are staccato. So if you can see that, okay, when you see a dot below or above, not beside, but below or above a note, that's staccato. If you don't know what that means, that means you're playing it short and detached. So even though it's still a full beat, you can see that you can hear the difference. So this is what we've got in the right hand for cantina band. We're going to go A, D, A, D for the first measure. My thumb is on G and I think that's a good place to have it to start this piece. So A, A, D, A, D, rest, A, G, sharp. So that was A, G sharp, A, G natural, F sharp. G natural, F sharp, G. And those are eighth notes, so this is what your timing is going to be like. F natural for two, D. Now, if I play that without talking, you, I think what you'll do is you'll recognize my, okay, you'll recognize the song a little bit more. play this is going to go on it's the same pattern here B 
B-flat, A, G, A, B, A, D. Rest. C, C, G, F, D, D, F, D, C. Now here's an E-flat. Rest. F, two, three, four. Hand's going to move up. This is that second part. It's an eighth rest, so you've got this just an eighth of a beat. Rest. What am I playing? A, F, A, F, A, A, F, G sharp, A, rest, F. Rest. G natural C. Going back, repeat. A F A A F G sharp A rest F D ending to rest F. Whoops, rest F rest what rest F rest F G sharp A. B flat, B flat, D, G sharp, A rest, F. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to play ending two. The best way to do this is to go over each hand individually and then work at putting them together. So now I'm going to put them together slowly. Hopefully I'm still recording because I heard my computer make kind of a funky sound. But after you've gone over both your hands, I'm going to take this nice and slow. This is what you're going to have for your song to work on and gradually build up your tempo. This next part. flat on the left. So that is what it's like real nice and slow. When you first put your hands together, you might even be playing it slower than that, and that's okay. We're going to work on tempo gradually. So I'm going to come back and bring this to you up tempo, okay? All right, so I will be right back with that in just a second. Okay, so now I've had some time to practice this, so I'm going to play it up tempo for you. And you will hear how it will sound after you stick with it for a while, okay? And just add, gradually get this a little bit faster, a little bit faster, but only after you're comfortable doing so, okay? And
that's it. I hope that helped and good luck with this piece. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.